ജനുവരി ട്വൻറ്റി സിക്സ് ഫ്രൈഡേ റിപ്പബ്ലിക് ഡേ ലൂക്ക് ടെൻ വൺ ടു നയൻ ഇൻ നോർത്ത് കൊറിയ എ മാൻ വെൻറ്റ് ടു ദ പോലീസ് സ്റ്റേഷൻ ടു ഗെറ്റ് എ പെർമിറ്റ് ടു ടേക്ക് എ ട്രിപ്പ് to the west what is the matter aren't you happy here asked the policeman i can't complain he answered aren't you satisfied with your job i can't complain are you perhaps dissatisfied with the living conditions i can't complain well then why do you want to go to the west the man said because there i can complain today we indians celebrate republic day the festival of democracy the day is marked with the rituals of flag hoisting speeches and marches and as patriotic songs fill the air we ponder over the history of our freedom struggle the history of achieving national sovereignty Republic Day in India is celebrated annually on the 26th January to honor the date on which the constitution of India came into effect in 1950 It marks a significant milestone in the country's history symbolizing the transition from colonial rule to a sovereign democratic republic The journey to becoming a republic was not a swift one for India It was a culmination of years of struggle, sacrifice and determination by the leaders of the Indian independence movement. The British colonial rule, which had lasted for nearly 200 years, came to an end with India gaining independence on August 15th 1947 the need for a comprehensive and democratic constitution led to the formation of the constituent assembly dr b r ambedkar the chief architect of the indian constitution played a played a pivotal role in shaping the legal framework that would become the bedrock of the world's largest democracy today the church celebrates the feast of timothy and Titus Timothy had a Greek father and a Jewish mother named Eunice Being the product of a mixed marriage he was considered illegitimate by the Jews Timothy was a convert of Paul around the year 47 and later joined him in his apostolic work during the 15 years he worked with paul 
he became one of his most faithful and trusted friends. He was with Paul in Rome during the latter's house arrest. At some period, Timothy himself was in prison. Paul installed him as his representative at the church of Ephesus. The figure of Timothy stands out like that of a great shepherd. According to the later ecclesiastical history of Eusebius, Timothy was the first bishop of Ephesus. Titus has the distinction of being a close friend and disciple of Paul as well as a fellow missionary. He was Greek, apparently from Antioch. Even though Titus was a Gentile, Paul would not let him be forced to undergo circumcision at Jerusalem. Titus is seen as a peacemaker, administrator, great friend. Paul's second letter to Corinth affords an insight into the depth of his friendship with Titus and the great fellowship they had in preaching the gospel. Dear friends, let us pray for the same zeal as the apostles had to preach the good news. Wishing you a happy feast, Father Paul, CSSR from Kerala.